Hi, my name's David Wishart. I'm a professor at the University of Alberta in Edmonton. For me, the power of genomics lies in two areas. The first is improving our understanding of living systems. And the second is improving our understanding of disease. My particular lab works in two areas in genomics. One area is called metabolomics, and the other is called bioinformatics. Now, metabolomics is a, a new branch of genomics, and it's concerned primarily with the high throughput characterization of metabolites. Now, the other area, uh, called bioinformatics, is a branch of information science or computing science, and it's primarily concerned with using computers or information technology to store, to analyze, and to interpret biological data. We've combined both metabolomics and bioinformatics to help us understand a wide variety of biological phenomena. We've studied, for instance, things like how and why bacteria grow, how plants survive drought, and how dietary grain affects milk production in cows. We're also using metabolomics and bioinformatics to discover new disease biomarkers, especially small molecules or metabolites that are now allowing us to identify, for instance, women at risk of developing preeclampsia, a disease that's characterized by high blood pressure and puts women at considerable risk. We're also using biomarkers, metabolomics, and bioinformatics to identify cancer patients at risk for cachexia, or muscle wasting, or newborns at risk for uh, oxygen deprivation at birth and brain damage. By combining the power of genomics through metabolomics and bioinformatics, we think we're getting new insights into biology and new insights into human disease.